ever wondered how such a small number of chromosomes in the human body has such power and variability to create human life in two biological genders and grow up to strengthen these features seen universally from the smallest DNA all around us? Or recognise similar traits in families such as eye colour, eye shape, pupil width and pupil length? Or how specific DNA codes for different biological genders? Or simply, how and why are there 23 chromosomes? Well, the woman to answer this and our unspoken hero is Nettie Stevens. Born in 1861 in Vermont, USA, opportunities for science-related jobs were slim for women back in the 1800s. However, she attended Westford Academy and graduated at the young and eager age of 19. Her discoveries then on only at the age of 39 would change the world of genetics and medicine forever. Chromosomes code for two biological sexes, males which is XY pairing and females which is XX pairing, of which Stevens used mealworms to study its inheritance. It was a groundbreaking experiment and the findings are as followed. In female mealworms, they had 20 large chromosomes. The males also had 20 chromosomes like the females, but the 20th chromosome was noticeably smaller than the other 19. This seems to be a clear case of sex determination, Stephen noticed, of which she was entirely correct. Then she concluded that the particular combination of X and Y was the main basis of determining the sex of an individual. But why didn't she get the recognition? Well, unfortunately, it is down to one word, sexism. Although her ideas were more accurate than Wilson, her male counterpart, he was accepted because one, he was a man, and two, published a paper before her. She only won $1,000 for a scientific paper competition, but received nothing else for her work. That's why we think it's important to give particularly women scientists the recognition they deserve. That is why Nettie Stevens is our unsung hero. She was the XY. 